I want to show you an easy way to record customer payments in Dynamics 365 Business Central. The easiest way to do it is to use the bank deposit. So let's do that. Go up to Cash Management, Bank Deposits. I'm going to create a new bank deposit. It's going to go into this bank. And I want to show all my deposits as a lump sum in my bank account because that'll make it easier to reconcile with a bank statement when I receive that. So I'll push that over. And then what I want to do is I'm going to just build up the deposit. If I want to, I could put a control amount in the deposit, but I'm just going to leave that there. We'll go back and fix it later. These are going to be customer payments. Look up my customer accounts. And for the document number, I could put a check number. So let's say this is the check number. I'll put that in. I then can put in either the total amount that the customer has paid me or I can build it up. So let's build it up from individual payments. So go to functions, apply entries. This will show me all the entries opened for this particular client. And do assign a payment to a specific invoice. I'll use the set applies ID. It'll put the check number in there and the amount here. If I scroll over here, I can see the amount applied. Let's do the second one as well. And then I can change the amount. So say the full amount was not paid here. I can change that. Let's say only $800 was paid. Furthermore, if I have a discount date, I can change the discount date over here so that if I go past the discount date, I can then recapture that discount for my client. And that's up to me whether I want to do that or not. This is an easy way to do it. And now let's say for this client, this is the total payment. When I hit OK, it's going to update the total deposit lines here. Let's add one more. Change the check number. I'll go back and apply that payment. Set that here. And now I can save this. I don't have to post it right now. I can save it. But once I'm done, I can go ahead and post it. And to make sure that it posts properly, I want to put in the total deposit amount here. And now I'll post properly. If I don't specify the total deposit amount in the header, and it equals the total deposit lines in the bottom here, I'll get an error, and it will not be able to post it. But since these match, I can go ahead and post it. And I'm done. Another way that I can also record customer payments is to use the cash receipts journal. It's very simple, it's very similar. Go up here, go to cash receipts journal. I'll select this one here, put in the check number, specify that this is a customer, look up the customer amount, and then I can build the deposit in the same way here. I'll go to apply entries. Here's my entry right here. Let's set the applies ID. It'll put the check number in, hit OK. And if I want to, I can add a second one here. Let's do that. Change the check number. Go to apply entries. Select this one here. And I'm done. So I can go ahead and post this now. What I prefer about the bank deposit method is that the amounts are shown as positive. In the cash receipts journal, these customer payments are shown as negative. can be a little confusing. But this is just another way to record customer payments if you want to. I'm going to go ahead and post this. Now let's go ahead and take a look at what these look like in the bank reconciliation window. So to cash management, bank account reconciliation. I've got one started here. Let's open that up. And these three lines at the bottom match the transactions that we just posted. So this one here, this is the deposit, and this summarized two payments to my customers. You can see that summarized in one entry here. These last two were done on the cash receipts journal. So I've got individual entries for each cash receipt. So this shows you two ways to record customer receipts in Dynamics 365 Business Central. You can use the bank deposit method, which is my preferred method, or you can use the cash receipts journal.